Our God is a wonderful God, an awesome God. He's our protection and redemption, the one who provides for us, guides us, and wants nothing but the best for us. Right? Then why is there so much suffering? Why, after all this time, do we pray to God and he remains silent? If you're anything like me, there have been countless times in your life that you have sounded just like this, left angry and confused at a loss with God's so-called merciful plan. Maybe it was after the loss of a parent, maybe a terminal illness, maybe your life's work ended in humiliation and failure. Moments like these cause us to question if our God is, in fact, all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving. So what do we do in situations like this? Is it okay to get angry with God? As a Catholic priest, I think that it is probably a sin not to. But we must be careful of one thing. Let's start with that first point, that I think it is probably a sin not to get angry with God. Do you believe that God is ever-present and all-knowing? I would hope so, otherwise he wouldn't be God. And so if God is ever-present and all-knowing, then he already knows what you're thinking, even if you don't say it out loud. God knows our thoughts even before we know them. As St. Augustine once said, God is closer to us than we are to ourselves. There is nothing that we can hide from him. Psalm 137 reminds us, where can I go from your presence? From your presence, where can I flee? If I ascend to the heavens, you are there. If I lie down in Sheol, you are there. If you're angry with God, God is going to know it. There is no way to hide it. And so any attempt to do so, any false words we might give God, like, I'm fine, or false prayers like, whatever you say, Lord, when we don't actually believe it, are fooling only ourselves. God knows that we are not being truthful, and I don't know about you, but I don't want God to think of me as a liar. I do not care what the situation is, what you've done, what you're feeling. It is always the right approach to be honest with God. If you're happy, share your happiness. If you're sad, share your sadness. If you're angry, well, then you absolutely better share your anger with God because what else are you going to do with it? All we can ever do is give God who we are in that moment, and God is going to use that for our benefit. Think of the story of Jonah. Here was a prophet who was angry with God for all of the wrong reasons. He couldn't understand why God showed mercy to the people of Nineveh, and so he went and pouted. He becomes attached to this little plant that offered him a little shade, only to become even more angry with God for taking it away from him. But look what God does with Jonah's anger. You are concerned over the gourd plant, which cost you no effort and which you did not grow. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be more concerned over the great city of Nineveh, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot know their right hand from their left, not to mention all the animals? God uses our anger to help us understand and grow closer to him. He baits Jonah in a way to come to him with his true feelings so that God can show him something that he needs to know. Had Jonah lied to God and said everything was fine, had he hid his feelings, this would never have happened. I say, if you are angry with God, then let God know. But that doesn't mean that everything we say is okay. We don't get a free pass to blaspheme or curse God just because we're angry. Like I tell people preparing for marriage, it is okay to fight. In fact, it is necessary to fight sometimes, but it is never okay to hate. This, of course, is not because we're afraid of hurting God's feelings. Unlike our spouse or best friends, the words we say can never take anything away from God. It's not going to wallow in pity or hold a grudge. We could curse and condemn God all day long, and it's not going to affect him in the slightest. But it would affect us. Think about that. In saying false or hateful things towards God, what we're ultimately doing is accusing ourselves and cutting ourselves off from the source of life and goodness. We're looking at the reason we exist and saying, I don't need you. That is never going to work out well for us in the long run. That is not going to bring us the consolation we desire, but will only further isolate us from the true happiness we seek. There is a big difference between expressing to God the anger and confusion we feel because of our situation and saying, you're the problem, I don't want you anymore. One leads to healing and reconciliation, the other leads to death. So how do we make sure we don't cross the line? When we look to the Psalms, we see that expressions of anger and sorrow are almost always accompanied by another type of prayer, trust. Take a look at Psalm 13. The psalmist begins with some fairly harsh accusations against God. How long, Lord, will you utterly forget me? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I carry sorrow in my soul, grief in my heart day after day? How long will my enemy triumph over me? They feel abandoned. They feel forgotten. Surely we know that God could never actually abandon or forget us, and so it's a pretty serious, obviously incorrect thing to say to God, but it is how they're feeling, and so it's the prayer that they can offer at that moment. But it doesn't end there. 
Once they've gotten their feelings out, once they've had time to unload, the psalmist concludes with these words. But I trust in your mercy. Grant my heart joy in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt bountifully with me. That is an honest, good prayer. I don't understand. I'm not happy, but I'm not going to give up on you, God. Please come to my aid. I want to challenge you to pray this prayer. I counsel a lot of people who have been through some hard times, who express their anger and confusion with me, and it always surprises me to find that they have not actually brought this to God. They've never said, God, I'm angry. Don't hold that in. Don't pretend like everything is okay. God already knows how you feel, and so you might as well bring everything you are to him. Express your anger, express your sorrow, but then never forget to share your love and trust as well. Do this, and I guarantee you, the Lord will bring consolation in your time of need.